Yeah, I mean. All right, people. Welcome back. More DM Duel commentary. So we got Omega Chaos here. Hi, Omega Chaos here again. You didn't sound very enthusiastic. It's because it's burning abyss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, so it's such a boring deck. Oh, this deck. <laughs> oh my God! Did you see when I did you see the flow where I threw freaking Dark Law in the deck? Dark Law's fucking yeah, busted. I saw it. Like wow, all right. Oh wow! You probably just spam it on the end. Pretty much that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Many don't even play Astral Force. It was a terrible mill. And Dark Hole. Like, okay. Like, Dark Hole, I get why Dark Hole is not that good, because it is too slow. But Torrental, you know, if Destruction is good during your opponent's turn again, yeah. Torrental fucks up Hermit Yokai too. Like, Hermit, Hermit Yokai, if anything affects their monsters during their turn before they can return to the hand, after they've overextended, they just get fucked up. Yep. I got. I was doing a gun. He's like, summon. He sends you. Summon. He sends you. Summon. He sends you. I'm like, all right. Activate my freaking scatter shot. I'll fucking wipe your ass. And he's like, quick. I I'm think like, two dark holes might be main deck now because of the chain lock with Necros. Yeah, that would make sense. Freaking releaser is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, anyway, we got Garcia twenty four here seven seventy three and Matthew John Lim one two three. 11.23 with all the back row. And, and the fire sock. <laughs> I saw oh, that yeah, like, yeah, that's Damn! The oh, <laughs> nigga! Oh, <it's> <laughs> what the fuck? He only was gonna destroy three! <laughs> you had three more cards! He's like, nope, nope, I quit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, and first fire like is also, he's always so powerful. Yeah, that first turn fire like is just like, wow. You better hope that you get that MST. And Necros is going to be so expensive because uh, Priyana and Trishula are so short printed in that set. Are they hard to pull? Yeah, very hard to pull. Like, you can only get like two Priyanaks or three per case. Mm. So, yeah, that's going to be expensive. Are the cards like yep. out yet? Yeah, Priyana is currently right? like uh, around $100. Holy crap! No. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, yeah, good why, luck to getting that. Why would I spend all that money for a deck that's not even the top? Like, if I if I'm going to spend money on that, I'd buy Burning Abyss. <laughs> like, besides Dante, the deck's not even that expensive, so... I think Nikos are better than Burning Abyss. Really? Yeah. How? Well, There's the some... matchup is pretty good for Necros, because they can just banish the Dante with Trishul and all that, and banish things from the graveyard. And all that. I better hope they have like fucking Denko Seka or something. Especially since Burning Abyss can. Well, if Burning Abyss decide to go ahead and freaking uh, mass change second it up like I was doing. I think one deck top that did it. Yeah. Me oh. to run that card. Yeah. And that's just, an, that's just another potent way to just fuck everything up. <laughs> you know, but if they don't get like. You know, Royal Decree or Denka Seca, they're just going to get one up. Especially since Trish has to be on their field to resolve the effect. I just get Karma Cut and don't get to banish anything. It's like, wow, oh, alright. <laughs> I'm not sure if Tishula has to be on the field it does. for that effect to resolve. It does. Lots of people have been doing talking about that. It does. Okay, so that's kind of unusual. Mm -hmm. So if you hit that shit and before it, it can resolve on the field, then you get nothing. It's like, ow. Yep, that's true. <laughs> so, Burning Abyss, you know, they say back rowing good. Burning Abyss, pull it off just fine. What do you mean you're thinking? Nigga, summon a Burning Abyss is not that hard. <laughs> I guess we'll see in the YCS this weekend, I think. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, there's strength in numbers, but it really depends on how expensive, um... Ooh, Flying C. Uh, yep. How expensive the Necros deck is, you know, if it's like... And Necros is insanely expensive currently. Well then... So it will be really hard to get that deck together in time. Well then it'll be interesting to see, you know. See if the people who want to fucking throw money... Oh, Metro Beast, okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I actually like that deck. No. It'll be interesting to see if the deck people who just have fucking billions of dollars to throw on pieces of cardboard do when they throw a the piece of the card but at that deck, I want to see how well they talk, you know, because there's strength in numbers, you know, like if it was a budget deck and everybody can get their hands on it, then yeah, I could see a couple people topping, but wow. <laughs> I guess it all piece twice didn't open that well. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. it kind of sucks it's really chains keep on getting popped too. But he, he should be okay if he can just continue to sit on that uh, monster. Never mind, I was wrong. He would rather neg himself and free himself from the terror that is flying sea. Damn. Damn. Yep, don't die again. Yeah, you control a spell trap. Yeah, put that shit yeah, back exactly. in your hand. Yeah, exactly. Then you can't spell someone. Yeah, you fucking cheater. Those monsters. <laughs> that may be true. Fucking cheater. <laughs> Jet. <laughs> Jet. Jet. <laughs> I want to charge. Yeah. <laughs> like in that uh, World Championship 2012. <laughs> Skarm, search for tour guide. I was wrong. <laughs> I hope burning a biscuit hit in April, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to be like last time. I'm afraid. At this point, I, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't put my trust in Konami anymore. I give up. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I turn around, they're doing something stupid. <laughs> That's it. If Snatch still doesn't get banned, I will, I will probably quit. I'll be like, you know what? I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. No, don't do it just because of one card. <laughs> there are a lot of bigger problems than, than Snatch there currently. Damn. Alright, well that's that, freaking... That's it. Yeah, that was like six minutes. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I guess we'll get a single one in. Alright, be right back. Alright, so <laughs> that was a quick one. So we're just gonna watch a single one here. We don't want this video to be too long. but not too short. I mean, six, seven minutes? Like, whoo. Hey, I mean, that guy, he, that uh, the spirit beast guy, he did not open up well. Yep. And he was going against arguably the best deck. Is it the yeah, best deck? Current. Yeah, currently. Like I guess that uh, I want to see what Nec I want to see what Necros can do. Necros, Necros, Necros. I want to see what they can Haven't do. Haven't you seen that deck enough already? I guess not in not on. TN, but on their pro. I mean, I'm seeing what it can do. I mean, it's seen the boring linear play that I'm tired of seeing all the time. The double wobble chain, I'm seeing the shit out of that. But um, I want to see. I'm probably going to see it again right now. Speak of the devil. Yep. Yep. For uh, a chin lock, lock down. Yeah. You know, but, you know, in, in comparison to the OCG, the TCG, I mean, I think they're going to lose the Burning Abyss. I think Burning Abyss are going to beat them. I personally don't think so. I think so. <laughs> Holy shit! Are those the pre-order prices? No, they are current prices, pretty much. Valkyrie is like sixty fucking bucks. That's also a printed card, so. Holy that's why. balls! This deck is expensive. Valkyrie, Trishula, and Priana got short printed, pretty much. Very bad ratios for them. Holy crap, Konami! Fucking <laughs> like all the money. Okay, so that play is so... I'm tired of seeing this play. Yep. I made Holly cut up that cut that shit out on, on fucking Daily Duels because it was boring. You did. <laughs> Even when it's on my side, I still don't like it. Cause that's all we see. One turn. What are you talking about? Okay, not sure. Okay, <laughs> let's see what that twilight is playing. Burning of it. course, burning of it. Oh, we're gonna get to see a red tip right here, right here. Let's see it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I like the argument. Now I want to see this. <laughs> Who's that, Cagna? Yep, Cogna. He did fuck up, though. Cause didn't he special summon the graph? He did. Yep. And three. Good. Good. Um, oh, well, no, not good, because he already used his effect. Yep. Hmm. What? Hmm. Mmm. We didn't even get to see the door. Burning the base. It is. 
Running best, I just killed like, it. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. So what are you saying? <laughs> he screwed it up so damn fast, so he didn't even get to compare. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. And now we're only at 10 minutes. We seriously need to get one more duel. Like, what the hell with this video? <sighs> we are back. Okay. So we got Dennis Gadget. He's actually playing Gadget. <laughs> yeah. 1060 though, not bad. Versus Rancid, I guess? Yeah, I guess it is Rancid. Wow, their rating is like so similar. 1067, 1060. But Gadgets, alright. Rancid, we're using Burning Abyss. Fuck him up with Burning Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's probably what we need is just Burning Abyss to fucking just wreck everybody's ass this video. What a twat. Uh, oh, it's static. <laughs> wow. wow. All right. Fucking nurse burn. Wow. All right. <laughs> Dennis is not amused. <laughs> the most skillful tech ever. Your sarcasm is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, this is gonna be boring, Joel. Indeed. I hate duels that like this. I hate these sacky-ass decks. Not even dueling your opponent. Yeah, same here. <sighs> well, fuck it, I give up. I can't get a good duel. <laughs> I just hope Dennis doesn't quit. <laughs> Go, Dennis! Fuck him up! Run into that fucking try and guess and gift card. Just get your fucking life points just wrecked. Wow. You actually got some damage, and that's surprising. I guess he wants to get his life points low so he can play fucking hope for escape and draw a shit ton of cards. And then fuck yeah, him up some more. Yeah, that's true. You also play that card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give your opponent life points with gift card and then hope for escape and draw a whole bunch. At least Dennis can pretty much play without really having to worry about his opponent doing anything to him. Yep. Because he's not even playing you. <laughs> well, two reckless crates. Well. Mm. No, you don't have to worry about that gear guy next getting destroyed or anything like that. Might have to worry about it getting Lava Golem, though. I think Nurse Burn, Burn player has won at this point, pretty much, with yeah. that huge. amount of cards. Yeah, I hope that Dennis has an MST, so as soon as he tries to freaking activate that Nurse Burn and chain everything else, he can just go, alright, chain MST, pop the Nurse Burn card, and gain all the life points. Oh, never mind. He has her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking skill. Fucking pro. Patrick Hoban is rolling in his grave right now. A lot of smash too. Mm. Chain that, chain that, chain that. GG. <laughs> almost game over. I know, much. damn. God damn. Fucking. Ugh. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting thick. You suck ass, man. You're not even doing. <laughs> There's nothing to read, nigga. You just got burned. Like, oh my god. And Snatch Deal doesn't help either. <laughs> That's how they busted as fuck, and then you put it in that deck, like, oh, let me take your monster and you take a thousand. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. It's like fucking upstart. All this man has to do is upstart. I know he has an upstart. <laughs> and then it's game over. Well, no, because he's gonna lose his nerf. Any effect that would cause your opponent to gain life points instead. So, okay. So he's gonna get control of it, so it's gonna flip around, so. Yeah, exactly. All he needed was an upstart. I'm surprised he didn't have one with all the cards he fucking drew. Go, Dennis! 
I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and he still has his bad reaction. Yep. Yep, this is gonna be a game. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Dennis is pushing now. Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Lava Golem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if he gets Lava Golem, I'll just be like, wow. Alright. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. expect, uh, expect it's fifth character. I just want to message this, this ranty guy and just be like, go play some deck with some skill. Fucking skill is trash. That's not even skill is trash, you're just blatantly just being bad. Okay, you can have all the monsters in the field you want. He's probably just gonna level golem your ass. Okay. Alright, on summon. That's fine. Because it's inherent summon, so you can't chain to yep. it. Yep. <sighs> yeah, you don't have to exceed. If he wants to go ahead and just max C just to prevent you from going into I don't even fucking know. Like what could you possibly exceed into that could save your ass right now? I don't even know, man. Life points are way too low. He burned you for fucking seven thousand fucking damage. Like wow. Like Konami. Like what is this? Like why is she still at three and why is bad reaction still at three? I don't understand. It's like because oh that tech isn't relevant to the meta game. So? And you fucking hit final countdown and that was sacky. <laughs> well, because it topped a few times, but uh, yeah. Nurse Burn hasn't really. Only in few regionals, but that's what it. Oh, Metaion putting in, putting in that work. Wow. I think this game over already. <laughs> yeah. Because it's 1200 damage altogether. It's not still on that fucking. Nurse is funny though. <laughs> Instead of gaining a thousand life points, he loses a thousand life points. Could be snatched stole his nurse. That's funny. I was wondering why. Has to have a team on prison or the gadget player is screwed. Yep. You got anything? That goes back to the hand. That goes back to. And what is it? Well, that helps, I guess. Yeah. And the number generator is being really generous. Dennis It's keeping him in this duel. Sash the old Book of Moon on and get shit. I might even come back from this duel. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, he's gonna exceed the Machine of Fortress this time. Be guy, probably. Nope. Really, no point in flipping it up. And it's pretty much a Swift Scarecrow or Bust. Yeah, pretty much. Either you got Swift Scarecrow, a Battle Fader, or you're gonna get fucked up. And I said, I hope Dennis wins. <laughs> the number generators have blessed you with strength. Now beat his ass. Well, we already know that one of them is bad reaction, right? Yep. So. Let's see if he got it. Rand said, You got that Swift Scarecrow? And then, it's that, and then you'll still be top decking, but all you need to do is just top deck into one of your burn cards. Why did you flip that up? There's really no point in flipping that up, is there? Yeah, no point. Yep, there it is. Ah. I don't think I've ever seen a duel that I never, they don't have that card. <laughs> So does that go? Does that card go back to his deck? Mm, not sure. I think so. Yeah, your standby face. Wait, what happened no. to the bad reaction? What the fuck? Did I, did I miss where it went? It like disappeared, or did he not grab it during the beginning? Don't I don't remember. <laughs> no idea. I could have swore he had that. 
Yeah, same here. Caught it with Polo Tuarte. Maybe picked something else and we didn't notice it. Why is he losing 2,000 life points? Oh, Minka. Yep, Median goes back to his deck. Yay! <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we did have the MST. Cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this one an episode. So, burning a bit of fucking people up and a fucking sacky ass burn guy getting his ass beat. So, anyway. Yep. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thank you. I'm gonna get cast for Jarmy. No problem. Glad to join as always. And we will see you guys tomorrow with an episode of DM Commentary. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.